Hello. Welcome back. Salutations, good people. Um, very much hands today. Uh, this is a good old-fashioned declutter. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I'm just sitting on my bedroom floor, and I just thought I'd film this today. So, let's get started. First up is I am going to declutter my uh, Makeup Revolution. Uh, the Emily Edit, the Once palette. This is a very lovely palette. I love Emily Noel. Um, I love watching her channel. It's very relaxing and entertaining and extremely informative. Um, but I just don't reach for it. I kept it for a while and said, oh, let me see if I'll actually reach for it. Didn't, haven't. So, uh, ta ta. Next up is my Almar Cosmetics. This one was with the Reina del Carib Volume 1. Now, I actually... I actually... As you can see, some of the shades are missing. Why is it so dark in here? Oh my gosh. It's like 1 in the afternoon. It shouldn't be this dark. Anywho. I actually swatched out some shades. Sw swapped. Wow. English. Swapped out some shades from the Spanglish palette and focus so I redid this so some of the colors are different I just took out the shades I liked <laughs> so I'm gonna let that go I'm not gonna swatch a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff I probably I may or may not open so also and as you can see this this is gonna be deep so let's try to get through all of this oh bank pen uh, the Smashbox primer water yeah it's uh, it was a collab with uh, Nicole Concilio. I got it in a boxy charm or something or a boxy lux a while back. I don't like the smell of coconut. I like coconut like on candy and like my cakes and stuff, but I don't like the smell of it <laughs> like in a perfume or lotion or face spray. So that's going. Another thing I got from this is like a boxy or something was like a Maven rose water setting spray don't like the smell and I already have face sprays that I like um an extra AOA like wispy purple mascara I'm probably gonna just give this away to a friend so yeah that's going a whole digital camera yes I know people are just like are you serious it's a whole old school digital camera Yup, I'm just gonna give it away <laughs> or donate it to an electronics place or something. So, I tell you, I'm decluttering so much stuff. Let's see, some Diva Curl styling cream. I don't really use this stuff. Ah, another face spray. So this one is what Pixie Glow Mist. So yeah, not really for me. A couple of tubes of lotion so yeah my J cat or glow highlighter yeah I'm just letting this go now yeah I haven't used it I just nope ta-ta some nail decals Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> oh, green mascara. It's going to. Um, but yeah. Let's see. My Lorac Pro. Which number is this? Two? Yeah, this is Pro 2. So. I love this because I love the navy and the jade shade. As you can tell, it's got some love. It's a little messier than most of my palettes, but Lorac has a really soft formula, so there's that. So, that's going. I don't want to reach for it. I reach for the original and, like, the number three a little bit more than I do to this one. It's hard. I have a bunch of these like crayons 
eye crayons that I got from like Wet n Wild when I tell you. All of these, some of these are still sealed and the like a couple of them have been swatched. And I've sanitized anything that I've swatched that I run to my friends. So there's a few more of these sticking around here somewhere. Ah, here they are. Yeah, as you can see. There. These I got from what was it? Uh Shop Miss A. And it was these really fun cream gel like bounce eyeshadows, which is really nice. They're really pretty. They still got a lot of product left. Just, I don't wear these things. Sanitize. Somebody that might like a one shadow look or might want to use it as a base. Okay. So, I've got quite a few. Super Shock Shadows. I'm finally... This is hard for me, but I'm finally getting rid of my J-Cat Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousse shadows as well. I have two shades, Bolt and what's the purple one? I know the red one was Bolt. I can't, I can't think of it right now, but these were fun. This is when I was getting into makeup and I was just trying to figure out what am I doing? What do I like? Um... I have oily eyelids, so things crease on me. So these were either gently swatched or they came broken and I had to press them back into their their pans. I'm finally gonna get rid of my Artist Couture highlighter, diamond glow powder. This is what summer haze. Summer purple haze, purple dream. Okay. It's pretty. I just don't wear loose highlighter. Uh, another highlighter is my Lorac. Is this sunlight? Daylight. It is beautiful. It's just not my favorite shade, but it is a gorgeous shade. It's a gorgeous powder. I have another one of these that's uh, my preferred shade. The formula is lovely on these. I would recommend this. It's very soft, it's very pretty, but it's just a little too icy for me. And yet the color I kept was like a pink be surprised it looks so nice and subtle just a, a nice warm flush which I know I'm brown and people go you flush I'm like uh but of course I do this is what is this one of the BH eye lights it's like a cream eyeshadow it's that really pretty color with a chill pill is that the shade yep all right so that's the color I realize I don't use that like fun cream eyeshadows like that so meh all right I'm not gonna try to explain everything because I have a lot of stuff there's a lot of stuff over here in this bag and in this box is deep as you can see it's full so let's get to it this is the black coal eyeliner I got from a boxy or something an extra Vettenveld blue lipstick I have blue lipsticks I like. This was like really fun for like cosplay and weird looks, but I've already got stuff I like. Uh, the Kristen Leanne Urban Decay collab. I think this is what the Daydream eyeshadow. So yeah, it's it's hella basic. And what am I gonna do with them colors? Uh, these are from like Bat Shop Hush. When these went out of sale. Like dupes for Huda Booty, Desert Dusk, Rose Gold. So this one's brand new as well. Um, I'm getting rid of my chocolate bar palette. It's time. It is time. It still smells like chocolate, but it's time to let, let it go, let it go. I'm also getting rid of my Fenty Beauty Cream cheek it's not like it's not a good formula I've swatched this and I tried to apply it so I took some so I took some like on my finger and I tried and then I put it on the back of my hand and then I tried to put it on my cheek it's just not my shade um, plus I mean I'm not really into cream products but this is nice this one's petal popping I'm gonna give this to a friend 
that's a, a little bit fairer than me and it probably can work with this a lot better but I've sanitized it so that's fine that's I'm putting it in the bag this also I'm gonna get rid of this is from C color this is fun hello as you can see I'm wearing just my ugly pajama top and my hair is tied back in a, <laughs> a scarf so this is a diamonds all shimmery palette I have really fun shimmers and single shadows and sparkly things, so I'm okay on this. But this might be fun for somebody that wants to give this a shot. So, another is the dupe for the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. This is Around the World from C Color. It's good quality. I always love the packaging because the flags and stuff. It's cute. Next, Ooh. this is a another thing from Shop Hush. This one's a dupe for the. Uh, Natasha Denono Lila palette brand new I think it's been used like once I sanitized it and then this one is a dupe for the sunrise sunset one of the the big 129 pan one uh, 129 dollar ones 15 pan I don't think I use this and I don't feel like opening these but they're brand new and they were in a bundle I remember I bought them from shop hush don't mind my old pants. This is where I swatch makeup and I just wipe them on my old pants. So this, I know people are like, what? You're getting rid of it? I know. So this is the L'Amour palette. So I'm going to get rid of it from BH. More from BH. Most people do not realize. I mean, this is the wild and alluring. It's cute. As you can see on the back, that's what it looks like. Fun, beautiful baked shadows. I'm just not into that anymore. And then this is the Wild at Heart or Wild Child. Not into that anymore. As you can see, really pretty nice neutrally. Really fun colors. I'm probably going to end up giving this to my sister, so I'm going to set this aside. Actually, everything in this bag is actually that's going to my sister, so <laughs> I'm just going to set it over there. Okay, we're going to get rid of the backup of my Solar Flare, which I don't need, like five. So I'm getting rid of it. It's brand new. Never been touched. I waffled. I got this. I gave. I, I decluttered this, and then I got it as a gift. I'm decluttering this again. <sighs> Take me to Ibiza. This and this. They're finally leaving. They're they're leaving, leaving. Like I waffled because I love the packaging. This is going. I haven't reached for it in almost over a year almost two years so no this is a beautiful palette it smells nice but it's gotta go what is this? oh I have some like nail protectors yeah I've got a whole bunch of these I bought these oh, what I? I forgot where I got them but I have a whole bunch of these and I do not need this many this is back when I was like into like simply nail logical and watching a lot of uh, nail polish YouTube and um as you can see, I just do my nails and I really don't care on stuff like that anymore. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Plus, with school, I'll have to have bare nails eventually. So, oh my gosh, hip ups. Um, I have like three backups I don't need. This one's brand new, untouched. My goodness gracious, these daggone hiccups. So, this is brand new and untouched. I do not need four backups of like a favorite palette. This is the Naughty from BH Cosmetics. It's good. So good. Let's see. Color Slop. Yes, I know. It's, it's rather new. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's called, is it Creamsicle? It is. I was all right. I would have thought it had been a little bit more orangey. -er. Um, it's not deep enough. It is definitely not deep enough. It is ashy. I'm not going to swatch it. I've already sanitized it. Um, it. They make it look so much more saturated and deeper online. And it's not. Even on camera, it looks a little bit like saturated and deep. But it's not. It's such false advertisement. It's so sad. Finally, I waffled on keeping these because I was like, oh, this company doesn't exist anymore. But yeah, no, they're all going buh boy. All my bad habit dupes for ABH uh, palettes going. Some really cute, what is this, like glitter sticks? These are Rockin's Cosmetics. 
hot mess. It's like glitter pens or something like that. Yeah, black, blue, and green glitter gel eye pens. It's a little trio. Super cute. Not my thing. I don't really, I don't really fuss, you know, Fs with glitter like that, so. <laughs> Um, who would have thunk it, but these are the Artistry, that's a dupe for the ABH Mario Master Palette, and then the dupe for the KKW Mario Muse, Artist Muse Palette or something like that. Going, going, gone. This one is the dupe for the Urban Decay Cherry Palette, Naked Cherry. Very pretty, smells good. It's just not for me. It's a little pastier. And I wasn't going to spend $54 on a real one because I knew that would just be a disappointment. Plus, <clears throat> I have plenty of other shadows that work in that same color scheme that are a little bit more saturated for me. Oof. Told you. This was deep. So, all of my bad habits... The Cult series. These are all dupes of Mother Auntie Pat's uh, Mothership palettes. So this is like the first one. This is the s second one with the green. This one's that pop of beautiful blue cool tones. This one's number three, my favorite, Subversive. This one's the fourth one, which is the Decadence palettes, all shimmers. So I'm getting rid of all of these. Um, because I do have hat palettes so <laughs> actually since this is standing up here um uh Morphe. this is the 39s such a gem let me see if i can pop it open i've used this like three times it's a beautiful palette it's a beautiful purple color scheme color dream it's just not for me anymore i won this in a giveaway by a wonderful creator from Shannon's Creations, Shannon, sweetheart. I'm just going to find it a better home. I'm just going to find it a better home. I've kept a lot of the things that were in that giveaway, but this one's just, and I'm, I'm purples are my neutral, but I gotta get this another home. It's just not for me anymore. Plus, I'm not a big fan of Morphe quality or the company itself. Um, what else? Oof. Uh, got this as a gift. I know this came in a boxy or something like that or an Ipsy. It's beautiful in all its little natural neutral glory. Um, yeah, not for me. I've got plenty of uh, neutral palettes, so I'm okay to let this one go. So, got this as a gift. Um, my friends that know I love makeup, and I'm just like. But they enjoy the Morphe quality. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not poo pooing on them for that. Like, it's a holy moly, those kids. Oh. <laughs> if you guys can hear this screaming children, it's life. But I remember when I was working at Ulta when this came out, and I was just like, it's just got the two greens, which attracted me. But I'm just going, it is the same color scheme all over the black and almost the stark pale color right here. As you can tell, I've barely used this palette. I've only used four colors in it. And the green, the two greens were it, and then like these hot pinks and like a red. That was it. Everything else is untouched. And I'm, I've already sanitized it. And it's going to find a new home. Sometimes I sell my makeup. <laughs> Sometimes I just give it away to my friends. Either way, it's going to find a new home. We're getting to the bottom of the bin here. I'm finally okay with letting this one go. I'm with the band. The Essence palette. Looks like a cassette tape. Oh, so freaking cute. Double side palette here. <sighs> These are really nice, I guess, beginner friendly shadows to work with. For colors. It's very soft. Very, uh, for me, with one, melanin. Two, I have a pretty... I think I'm mid-level. Like, I think my skill level is pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, like, professional grade. I'm not, like, you know, Pat McGrath, Natasha Dona, uh, Mario Dedevanovich, or, you know, higher up there. Like, those real, those are three famous makeup artists. Or Kevin O'Connor. I'm not, like, that type of skill level. <laughs> but 
these took some work to one show up two they're just really nice washes of color like super soft this will work with somebody who's probably two to three shades lighter than me four maybe mm, like a tan like an even a light tan skin tone to unseasoned chicken so this will work but i'm ready to get rid of it i just loved it because it was a cassette tape and it had like 90s music reference which was my era because i'm a 90s kid so <laughs> there you go oh the good old controversial color slop i got this as a gift i deposited the shades that i liked out of it and then it just left with the same old unseasoned meal um at the smith's house like it's just like oh some of that unseasoned stove top timmy um don't put too much you know peppers in the potatoes joanne just so unseasoned when you take out the few pops and the few dark colors and i hate those glittery matte shades they don't blend well for me i think that's a crock of bull so yeah dunzo like yeah no bye um yeah i went ham i got some of these <laughs> I, again, I took out all the colors I liked. <laughs> I took out all the colors I liked. And I just rearranged. Where's the other one? It dropped over here. So I just took all the colors out I liked. And just to rearrange them. They're still in the same color family. So, you know. They'll find a good home. My elf bite-sized palette this is rose water focus focus oh my water oh very bad it's just not as saturated it looks good like in the pan and online but when you try to put this on the eye diddly shows up diddly for me and that's the shame because I love berry tones. Purples are my neutral. Berry tones are one of my second favorites. I love red berry tones, um, greens and blues. And then, you know, neutral city. This is kind of like an in-betweener. It was just not good. The I only I got rid of all of my other Elf by Sight quads except one. One. Un, which was my hot jalapeno one that's the best one for me this is going ta ta okay and these are the color slop nine pans i'm getting rid of uh two of the shadows fell out and broke so this is just gonna be a seven pan so <laughs> um so this is a seven pan shadow uh, this is in the main squeeze this one is what Nice little blue with a pop of neutral and some stuff on club blue. This one's the minty one. This one's just kind of a nice little hodgepodge of a fun little color scheme. So, and then this was the I think going coconuts, which I feel like that was a little bit more representative of a coconut for me, but meh. Okay, getting rid of some more Too Faced here. Got these two. So, Kitty Likes to Scratch, which is the dumbest name I've ever heard. So, yeah, there's that. Going. And I got this Christmas 2019 when I first started working at Ulta. Uh, this is the Hot Buttered Rum. Yeah, cute little neutral palette. Pretty basic, pretty bland. Nothing to write home about the quality. Gave one to my sister, so I bought two. One for me, one for her. Um, hers is like beat up. Like she put some love into this. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm glad. But uh, it does nothing for me. So, plus I have neutral palettes I love way more. So, ta ta. People can't believe it, but real Natasha Denoni. Real Natasha Denoni shadows. So, yeah, these are shadows that are from oh i can tell you for some of these some of these are from 
the trio chrome and the circle loco palette <laughs> yeah no i got rid of all the pasty shades in those those were not gonna do diddly for me i do want to play around with those because since they're more the circle loco and the trio chrome are newer to my collection i want to i got them as gifts y'all gifts like those are the, the people in your life that know that you love makeup <laughs> they're like i got you a freaking gift card or like something you really wanted so here i know you mentioned this person i didn't know which one to get so i'm like <laughs> i love you so yeah i just took out all the boring bland colors and then i had a couple of these one of these was a cranberry palette and one was like one of her five pans yeah this was originally the cranberry palette i deposited all the colors out of the cranberry palette and I put them into the other two. And then I think this one was what one of the original like five pans, number five or number ten. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera. Yeah, eyeshadow palette uh, number five. So this one had like Nina's Orchid. So some really pretty colors, Arborgine in it. So yeah, but these are nice. These are going to go to some of my friends that are pasty, that are Casper, Glow in the Dark um ask people that are unseasoned chicken these will work for them for me this does nothing so natasha denona's ah my box is empty so there's that it's empty look at that now what i've decluttered to my sister obviously she's gonna get this some headbands don't mind my foot some of these Ashley Tisdale Illuminate body bronzing uh, thingies. <laughs> I actually tried some on and it actually worked really nice. So, yeah. But yeah, I'm giving her both. I don't really need these. I'm fine. Just, I'm already brown. My sister's actually a little bit darker than me, but not by much. We're both of delicious melanin so we're both fine but sometimes we like that bronzy well she likes that bronzy glow um i go <laughs> i i hiss at the light so uh, as my friend mad says that i i live in a bat cave it's kind of true um i gave my sister some really fun nail decals like nail wraps these are fun in kente uh guyana patterns so I got these out of an Onyx box, which was a black owned subscription box I had for a couple of years. It was really good. I have a pack of these. I just have an extra. I don't need that many. So there's plenty that come in this thing. So I'm giving this to my sister. What else? Oh, I'm giving her a really good f um, face mask. It's a black peeling mask. It hurts like hell. Uh <laughs> Sometimes if it gets on your peach fuzz. So I'm giving it to that because she likes to clean out her face. She has a beautiful face. I'm giving her the queen palette because my sister is a queen. This is the palette. It's gorgeous. It came in a box here or an Ipsy or something. I got it as a gift and I'm not mad at it. I did not. I don't have subscription boxes anymore, but I have friends that do. And they're just like, girl, I'm not going to wear these colors. And I just thought, my sister needs to branch out. I've given her bright colors. She needs some more. These are fun pops. I swatched two shades. I've sanitized it. She's not going to get mad at me. So, <laughs> this is helpful because my sister has like um, meds that she has to take. Like being her business, everybody has a little something vitamins, uh, daily supplements, you know, allergy medicine. So, I got a cute little pink. It's a pill box. It was on sale on Shop Miss A. So, I got her one. It's brand new. I haven't taken out the bag. So, I want her to have it. I got this as a Christmas gift, but I don't use bath bombs. I love them, but I don't really use them. So I figured she might make better use of them. I know she likes to take a soak every once in a while, so they smell great. And it's like berry. Yeah, ch dark cherry orchid. Really nice. And we both kind of like scents like that. So she's, I'm going to just rehome them to her because I feel like they would get use. I have to shower. I can't sit in my tub. I'm too tall. <laughs> so... Okay, I'm going to give her the Glam Light Calligraphy Eyeliner. It's beautiful. I love the little packaging. It looks like a quill. Super cute. I just don't do winged eyeliner. I don't do liquid eyeliner. I'm terrible with it. And everybody's like, practice, practice, practice. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm not jacking up my face like that. So <laughs> I'm just going to give it away. Let's see. 
Oh, a good old face candy disco fever, which is just the dupe for the Too Faced chocolate gold bar palette. I'm gonna let that go. I had like five backups of these. I have the real gold bar and I kept one that I actually used multiple times. So I'm letting go of a lot of stuff. So I don't need, I don't need it. I'm giving my sister this bracelet, super cute. It says blessed. Um, she has tinier wrists than I. I'm like, I'm, I'm fat. I've got thick wrists and it's not gonna work. Also, I give her the sleek shadow. Um, sleek makeup is really good. This one's in shut up. It's a beautiful purple. So it's a really nice like one shadow look or she can use it with a matte and just top it off. But uh, I don't really need it. I know. Getting rid of my BH Capricorn palette. My sister is also a Capricorn. Her birthday is January 4th. So we're right next to each other. So there we go. Just going to rehome it. It's going to find a better home. My sister wears neutrals a lot more than I do. So there's that. Okay, I just dumped everything on the floor. Um, This palette. Make and Bank. I don't even like, again, Morphe. But... Uh, the color scheme was so gorgeous and I tried I even taped the shade names on the mirror so they're there but yeah no my sister could use this, this is neutral and some greens she want to do this gold green look well she can do it with this so boom boom oh yeah this is one of my Hikari shades the color pigments and shine I have another one of these it's a nice cream shadows big basically just beautiful yellow gold going to her uh, super shock shadow was this in drift yep all right drift another sleek shade this is oh this is the beautiful olivey green and queen complex very pretty very mm, my sister very moany very pretty I'm actually going to let my sister have some beautiful colored rain. This is the Berry Cute palette. She looks gorgeous with like magenta and purples. She wears those like beautiful lipsticks, but I'm trying to get her to put this on her eyeballs. So I'm going to give her this beautiful Berry Cute palette. It wasn't my favorite formula to work with. It might be hers. Like it might do something for her that it just didn't do for me. So I'm going to let her have it. A few more uh, Super Shocks. So I think lightning bug and what? Is that this done? Don't give a flying thought. So yeah, I'm gonna let her have those two. Very nice, simple, one shadow looks. Oh, an after hours palette from Bad Habit. Very nice. This is like the mauve obsessions dupe. She'll love these. Like she just needs like lots of fun colors that are not too crazy, too, 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 too crazy. And this one's so good. This is a dupe for the Soft Glam. But I have to say, I, I really like this one. But she's going to love it because she 